I'm Kenny Dwyer. I am. I live just north of Fort Worth. I'm from the Dallas Fort Worth chapter. And thank you to everybody for making me feel welcome and making me feel a part of this team. And I really do appreciate all of the relationships that I've gotten to start over the last couple of days. Um, like many of you, I was really not looking forward to this. I was very hesitant and pretty fearful about taking on the role of, of president in our chapter. And I was pretty nervous about coming here to Spring Creek. Every time somebody mentioned, mentioned Spring Creek, I automatically thought about Spring Creek barbecue that has really good <laughs> um, cornbread and rolls. <laughs> so it was, really, it was really hard to think about what else it could be. But, um, and then also going into this, looking at the itinerary for what we were going to be doing. It, I mean, overall it was pretty vague. And so I didn't know what to expect out of each of the the sessions, but then I did see the kayaking, and I tried to stay pretty quiet about this, but I am very afraid of water, and I really wanted to go kayaking, but I was pretty intimidated by the whole thing. So, um, what I discovered throughout this time, um, first of all, I've built relationships with a lot of people, with all of you here, and I really do appreciate that, and it just reminds me of how important it is to have that, you know, the true people-to-people -people interaction. And one of the things that we've talked a lot about in our chapter is what is it that brings people to our chapter? What is it that's going to make people choose to be involved in our chapter versus all the other volunteer organizations that they could be a part of or other business associations that they could be a part of? And you can list out all the CPE credits, you can list out the luncheons and the social events and all of those things, but anybody can do that. What really sets us apart are the relationships that we have with each other. And I, I got to experience that first firsthand while I've been here. And so I look forward to bringing that back and reminding our leadership in our chapter how special that is so that we can share that with everybody else in our organization. Um, throughout the personality test, I, I learned that I am definitely a blue all the way, as you can tell by everything I've just said. <laughs> um, and then when I get nervous or uncomfortable, I really start going kind of on the green side. And it reminds me of a situation at work the other day where I got a little defensive because I wasn't getting my way. And so I went back and I created this huge spreadsheet and brought it back to my business manager to convince her as to why she needed to do what I wanted her to do. And my, our vice president said, what, what is the problem here? And it turned out it was fine, but I tend to get, I want to get all my ducks in a row. And so um, I realized in this though that I can use my strengths to lead the team. I was really nervous about taking on this leadership role, but, but I, I can use what I've learned here to become a facilitator to pull out the best in everybody. So I'm really excited about that. Um, also, I kind of feel it in my shoulders how sore I am today from pa from paddling and um, I realized that I've been doing a lot of paddling in my in my chapter and I look forward to kind of sitting back and taking kind of taking a step back and looking all around and looking forward and being that guide um, I mentioned to you that I was really nervous about kayaking, but I had a great partner, David. <laughs> so thank you very much. I appreciated the continuum, so I got paired up with one of the more experienced people. And, um, you know, what I realized is that having, having him back there, just very calm and giving directions and not really worried, that gave me a huge sense of comfort, and so we can do that as leaders. Um, but also what I realized is that we do have to be present and we do have to still communicate even when we think the person behind us might know what's going on. I saw some wild horses and I realized when we got back last night that my partner didn't see those, so I should have communicated that better. Um, so what I look forward to um, taking back is using these skills and, and just the relationships that I have and, and sharing that with my team. And I'm looking forward to our strategic planning session that's coming up and some of the things that I want to make sure that we continue to do and even focus on implementing more is to continue to have a lot of fun, um, bring that fun throughout our chapter, really set some clear goals. We've done a lot of great things as a chapter. I have, I've been lucky to be around a lot of really good leaders, but now it's time to move it forward. Um, and then just continue to create those connections 
um, like you had mentioned earlier, connections create commitment and that's what we really need so that we can hold each other accountable. So thank you. Are you gonna go home and kayak somewhere? Well, I don't have a river. We were talking about that. The Trinity River is a little, uh... ah. <laughs> you know, something you said that hit me just now was, you know, relationships. We can have people, we can have numbers, but I think as Steve pointed out when we had a conversation on the phone that his vision is strength in numbers. Relationships create the strength, create the bond, create the connection. Without relationships and connections, we can have lots of numbers. I know CFMA is committed to helping you build and grow stronger from within and with your team, so take that back and good luck. One, two, three. Thank you. Nice job, thank you.